Hey guys, hey chosen generation, hey beautiful people of the most high God. How are you guys doing on this Monday evening? It's Monday. It's Monday evening, back to work tomorrow, which is okay, you know, it's good. Hallelujah. There is a time and a season for everything. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that you guys are uh, here with me tonight. I just want to come on real quick and give you a, a few things that the Holy Spirit has been giving me. Hallelujah. To encourage you in 2024 to go forth, to uh, be able to push yourself through the tests and trials of this life. We have to push, push, and push. Amen. If it is your first time here, welcome. My name is Nia, and on this channel, I give you whatever the Holy Spirit gives me, a word of encouragement, a prophetic word, a scripture, whatever he gives me, I give it to you. So welcome, welcome, and welcome to all of my beautiful, beautiful subscribers, those that have been with me from the beginning up until this point, as well as the new subscribers. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Welcome, guys. Let me give you a hug. Mm, that's a hug from me to you. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. You know, um, God is so good. I tell you, God is amazing. And I'm just so happy and so grateful for what he is doing in this time, in this season. Hallelujah. Amen. He's moving greatly. God is moving greatly. There's some great things that are happening right now. Hallelujah. Even as we sleep, things are happening in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. God is moving. He's transforming. He's making changes. Hallelujah. And I just wanted to talk a little bit to you guys, chit chat about some things, you know, um, no particular, but it is a particular subject. It is, it is a subject is basically being able to go through in 2024, uh, the process of the things that God is bringing out of each and every one of us being able to go through the process, continue to go through the process, as well as push even more, hallelujah, to be able to do the things that God has already placed us to prepare for that area that he's trying to bring forth. We want to prepare, continue to prepare, 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 and we want to not um, lose sight, but continue to be focused on those things that God has placed on the inside of us to do in 2024, because 2024 is going to it is already amazing amazing amen hallelujah this is day one but guess what it's amazing hallelujah write those things down put it in action those things that god has already put placed on the inside of you the things that he's already told you to do go ahead and do it it's you know i just felt led to come on and just encourage encourage you some more to just stay focused Stay encouraged. You know, um, that is my goal on this channel is to always encourage you, to lift you up. Hallelujah. It's not always easy, you know, this journey. Hallelujah. Being a Christian, you know, serving our daddy, our, our papa God. But it's well worth it. It's well worth it. You know, it's well worth it when you have that baby. You go through, we as women, we go through nine months of pregnancy. Hallelujah. But when we see that baby. It's well worth it. The kicks, the times we can hardly sleep at night because our stomach is so big. It's well, well worth it. Amen. Hallelujah. When we see that beautiful baby girl, baby boy, a twins, triplets, whatever it is, it's well worth it. Hallelujah. And it's well worth it to do the things that God has placed on the inside of us and to see the results later. Hallelujah. It is, it, you know, just see, you see it and you know it, you know that it's already coming, you know, just like you desire uh, to hold that baby before you get it. You know, I used to have visions of my baby and I didn't know how it looks. You know, you, of course you see the ultrasound of the baby, but I didn't know how my baby really would look until actually I would see the baby, of course, but I would have an image of the baby um, even before the ultrasound. I had an image of how each baby was going to look. And when I seen the baby, I was so amazed at how even more beautiful the baby was, you know? And then, so that's what God is saying to us. You know, he said, I know you have a vision of what you already uh, think it's going to be or think you think whatever it is that I told you to do, how it's going to be and how it's going to look. But God is saying, it's going to be even bigger and greater and more beautiful than that. Amen. It's going to be bigger and greater and more beautiful than that. 
Hallelujah. So God is saying, don't worry. You just keep doing the things that I've called you to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And God said, I am doing it. I am doing it. I am doing it now. Hallelujah. It's already done now. Hallelujah. Continue to thank me now. Hallelujah. Speak my word now. Hallelujah. Concerning it. Affirmations. Hallelujah. And just believe without a shadow of a doubt. 2024 is our year. The chosen ones. The people of God. Hallelujah. Those that are called by my name. Hallelujah. That he said in his word. My people which are called by my name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Will humble themselves and pray. And we have this praying time. We have to pray more than ever. We have to pray. We have to pray for each other. Hallelujah. Encourage each other. Lift each other up. You know, it does a lot when you have people that lift you up, encourage you. So many of you guys come on and you encourage me. Hallelujah. To keep going. Hallelujah. How what I say and the things that God has given me. Hallelujah. It blesses your life. And that really makes me happy because, you know, I know without a shadow of a doubt, hallelujah, that I'm doing what God told me to do. Hallelujah. I know I am. Hallelujah. I don't doubt it. I don't question it. I know what God spoke to me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I have to be obedient to what he's called me to do. Amen. And that's the same thing with you. Whatever God has placed in your heart to do, you have to be obedient. Hallelujah. Come what may, you have to be obedient. Don't worry about the naysayers. You have to be obedient. 2024, make 2024 a time where you don't listen to people that have something to say about something that God has told you to do. Make 2024 a year where you will just go forth in the Lord and not allow people to get in your ear and should try to slow you up because it's all a trick of the enemy. He tries to slow people up and to lose time where they can't stay on, on focus and in track and on course. Hallelujah. And God wants us to stay on course. Hallelujah. Because timing is everything. Timing is everything. You know, sometimes, you know, you may see, for example, children that play double dutch. You know, and if they miss one step of that double dutch, the rope will stop and they'll get to have to start all over again. Well, God is saying, don't miss one step of what I'm telling you to do because you're listening to other people. Don't miss one step of what I'm telling you to do. Hallelujah. God is saying, stay focused on the things that I told you to do. Hallelujah. In 2024. And it's coming to pass. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, you know, sometimes even when people is hard, when people are married a lot of times because they want to do certain things, you know, um, and, and maybe their spouse is not in agreement with it, you know. And so sometimes it's kind of hard because they have this desire to do a certain thing and the spouse may, you know, somewhat be, okay, you know, yeah, okay, all right, all right, you know, um, not really, really uh, encouraging that husband, that wife to do that, that, that thing that they want desire to do. But God is saying, even in that, I need you to stay focused. Even in that, hallelujah, the silent treatment, the times where you don't hear any any encouraging words. Hallelujah. You have to encourage yourself and be able to go forth. You know, it's an encouraging. We have to encourage our time. This is a time that we're living in that we have to encourage ourselves in the word of God. Hallelujah. We have to encourage ourselves in God's word. And how do we keep ourselves encouraged? By transforming our mind daily in the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And as we continue to transform our mind, hallelujah, in the word of God, we shall, we will, we have already overcome. Hallelujah. The enemy. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, let me say something. We will get, as I spoke on many, a um, uh, couple sermons back on this uh, channel, I spoke about hiccups. And I was talking about the hiccups that come in life. And, you know, even in this life, we have so many hiccups. Hallelujah. We have hiccups, things that are not expected. You know, things that you're not really um, expecting to come. And it just comes all of a sudden. You have those all of a sudden things. 2024. Hallelujah. Will you may have some all of a sudden things. But guess what? God is going to give you how, me how, to handle those all of a sudden things. It won't move you. It won't move you. 
you know, hiccups is one of those things. They say, well, okay, if you're a child or as you're, you know, growing up, I'm, I heard people say, drink some water and that has stopped the hiccups. Drink some water. What I'm saying here, that if we, when we have hiccups, of course, this is, you know, not hiccups in the natural, but I'm, I'm referring to spiritual and things that happen in the natural, of course. But what I'm saying, I'm, I'm referring to a spiritual uh, level. If we, if and when we have hiccups and things that happen to us in life, God is saying, just like you drink that cup of water or you drink something to stop the hiccups, God is saying, take my word in, drink my word. Hallelujah. His word is that word, the word of God tells us like medicine. Take the word of God and the hiccups that come. And God is saying that he's looking at how you react, how we react, how I react, how we react to the hiccups of life. How do we react to it? Hallelujah. Are we trusting him? Are we praising him? Are we all out of sort when some things happen? Hallelujah. Are we all out of sort? Or are we just saying, you know, um, I know God has this all in control. And I thank you, God. I thank you already. I know that it's already done. I praise you. I magnify you, Father God. Hallelujah. It's okay. Hallelujah. Because I know it's already done. Whatever that situation is, you begin to speak life over it. Hallelujah. You begin to speak life over it. Hallelujah. Whether it's sickness, whether it's your, your family, whether it's your finances, you begin to speak life back over it. Hallelujah. And you do this consistently, regardless of hiccups or not. But you just keep drinking that water for them hiccups. You keep drinking that word, taking that word, taking the word of God, taking that scripture. By his stripes I'm healed. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Whatever the situation is, you take that scripture. You get one scripture and you hold on to it for dear life. Hallelujah. For every situation, you hold that scripture. You take it and you take it and you eat it. Hallelujah. You eat that word. Thy word, he said in, in the Bible, that have I hid in my heart, that I will not sin against thee. As we hold his word dear to our heart, hold it in. Take it in. And take it everywhere we go. You might not have a Bible in your hand, but you got that word hidden in your heart that you will not sin against thee. Hallelujah. And we will not sin against him no matter what hiccup comes. We will speak the word of God. We will get to praise him. We begin to thank him. Hallelujah. Because that's what we need to do at all times. That's what the enemy wants you to do, the opposite. See, his desire is to get you to do the opposite, to get you all thrown off and all crying and, oh, my God, you know, I don't know. Oh, Lord, you, you know. God is, uh-uh. What is your reaction to this hiccup? I allowed the enemy to do this. I gave him permission to go ahead and do this. But what is your reaction? How are you going to handle it? What is your response? Amen. Hallelujah. God is with us. He loves us. He has our best interests at heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He wants us to succeed. He wants us to be successful. And we shall be in 2024. Amen. We shall be in 2024. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the power of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 No weapon. No weapon. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. God is with you. God is with you. God is with you. Hallelujah. I don't care how it looks. I don't care how it feels. I know. Hallelujah. You've been going through. Hallelujah. A lot of the body has been going through. People I've talked to all the time. They're just going through this, going through that because it's fighting time. It's time to take back everything that the enemy has stolen from God's people and take it by force. Hallelujah. Don't just let him do whatever he wants to do to you. You take it by force and you stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. You take it by force and you take it with authority. You speak authority over him. When you pray, pray with authority. Hallelujah. When you're commanding him not to come against you, you speak with authority. Hallelujah. You have the authority. You have the comforter, the Holy Spirit that lives on the inside of you. Amen. Hallelujah. You have the authority over the enemy. Hallelujah. I know he tries to make you feel like you ain't got no power, but you got more power than you think. You got more power than you think, I'm telling you. Hallelujah. And walk in it daily. Walk in the power that God has given you and me 
daily. Let me have a word of prayer with you. Father, I thank you for each one under the sound of my voice. I ask that you will meet them, God, where they are. Hallelujah. Even myself, I thank you, Father God, for stirring us up even the more in 2024 that we will go forth as never before. Hallelujah. We will not and we shall not back down to any of these hiccups that come in life. God, that we will stand on your word. Your word is true. You are not a liar. You are faithful to do just what you said. And Father, I thank you for each and every one of my subscribers. I thank you for blessing and meet every need, even the viewers, God. Bless each and every one. Supply their needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor for all that you're doing and all that you're going to do. In Jesus' name, and we thank you and we praise you for it. Amen and amen. I love you guys. Be encouraged. I tell you, I'm just, I still feel the power of God. I am so wound up right now. God is moving. It's a great time that to know, you know, that you can just really, really dig into those things that God has stirred up already inside of you. Those desires, write them down. Do it. Do it. Don't procrastinate. Do it. God got some great things that he's going to show you. He's going to give you some ideals even more. Hallelujah, about that, that that dream and that desire that he's already placed on the inside of you, the thing that you want to do. Hallelujah. God said he's going to give you some really, really uh, ways of how to structure that. So just be encouraged and go forth in it. Go forth in it. Write it down. God is with you. He loves you. I love you. Be encouraged. And remember, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God bless you. Be sure to comment at the bottom. I like to hear from you as well as like the video as well as subscribe if you haven't already. God bless you. I love you. Talk to you soon.